beautiful Sable Hills estate in the Ruderplatt area here today for the launch of an update on the Fiat 500X. Quintus Grunot from Stellantis, the product guy for the Fiat 500X, but also I think you're now part of the Motor Matters team because you've been in a lot of my videos. Yes. <laughs> so we'll pay you later, okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> Quintus, some changes on the model. Yes. And most important, range realignment can we call it yes. you've changed the range but let's just have a look around a couple of the features of the car so just point out what stands out to you around the outside of the 500x so there has been a little bit of an update in terms of the front decaling of the vehicle where um, the actual fiat logo has been replaced with the 500 logo to be part of the 500 family as everyone know obviously all the standard features from the previous one the led headlights led daytime running lights and led fog lights but obviously focusing on this specific model, it's our Halo mod model, new one with the EST extended soft top. Okay, now let's talk the range quickly. You've got the... We've got the cross. The cross, which is the entry, entry, okay. entry level. Yeah. Then we have the Sport and then okay. the Sport EST. Okay, so this one is the Sport, right? Now you can tell us the Sport. You've got the extra fog lamps at the front here, am I right? Uh, it's actually got the Sport bumpers. Okay. And the colored coated fenders right back right. side skirts and of course through to the back the sport badge don't yes. forget the sport badge <laughs> but uh, something else that's also got am i correct now please i hope i've got this right is your wheels go from 18 to 19 inches yes so on the cross you will have the 18 and the sport models you will have a 19 inch and you can see very very good looking mag wheel over here different design on the cross as well yes okay now we come along over here you call this a b segment SUV, am I right? Yes, B that, SUV segment. That's the category it fits in, but it, it's a boutique one in a lot of ways because the, the whole 500 range I've always termed boutique, whether it's the little hatch or this big brother. Yes. So it definitely has a lot of features and it's aimed at the upper end of the category, am I right? Yes. So just let's bring the camera around to the front, to the back door over here. You've got a lot of features. On Sport, of course, you get leather trim with yes. a bit of Alcantara here and there. Yes, full leather trim. Okay, full leather trim. And I see you've got a USB for the rear seat. Nice. So important these days. Good space in the back. It's all got everything else like that. Come around to the rear. You still got the, the lights are still exactly the same as they were before. I find this fascinating that that looks like, but is not a light in the center there. No, right? that's a body <laughs> colored. But it's a body colored, but it looks really good. And let's just pop open here. You can see the boot can take quite a bit. It's a good sized boot, which of course, again, on a BSUV, you want so much. Now, engine. Engine. So engine, we're looking at a 1.4 turbocharge, um, a six-speed automatic transmission with 240 newton meters of torque. And 103 kilowatts, right? 103 kilowatts, yes. Yeah. So on the drive here, I can tell you, it's pretty peppy. It's nice. It performs nicely. And Jason and I were talking a lot on the drive here how smooth that gearbox is. It's a good combination that Fiat has it is. kept on this car. Yeah, yeah, it's a six speed, but it is smooth. I didn't feel a shift at any point or anything like that. Okay, Quintus, prices. Prices, so the cross entry level, we're looking at 509,900. The sport model, um, 560,900. And this particular one that we just looked at, 580,900. Okay, we're gonna show you inside and we gotta show them what you mean about that extended extended soft top. 100%. The EST as you call it. <laughs> going to drive now in this 500X, the Sport. But uh, as we discussed just now, the Sport is in uh, trim functions, etc, etc. But I've got to tell you, Jason, you're behind the camera now. This 103 kilowatts and 230 newton meters, it feels like more. Yeah, I think it's, it's got enough go for the, it's, it's actually well suited to the package. It's, you don't really yeah. need more. No, absolutely, it really is. It's not a firecracker, uh, but it's it's got more than enough, you know? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, uh, yeah, a BSUV is generally not a firecracker by definition, am I correct? For sure. Uh, sorry, some scary lane changing going on here on the highway. <laughs> but I must say, it's a very, very smooth cruiser. And really, yeah, point and squirt around town, but nice on the on the freeway, and uh, I'm just finding it very, very comfortable, easy drive, gearbox matching to this engine, I've got to comment again, 
is so good. I agree. It's actually it is very it's very smooth shifting and you know, the engine is responsive. It's, it's there's no lag. There's no jerkiness. It's actually just very smooth to drive. Um, yeah, I mean this is the ideal town car. That's for sure. Uh, in traffic, like we're hitting. I mean this is a freeway. What's going on today? Uh, it's a bit yeah. Obviously, lots of traffic around, but it's one of those cars that will handle this traffic with no fuss whatsoever and just potter along if it needs to and yet you can cruise national speed limit very comfortably all day as well but thanks for your company jason thank you alan it's great to do as always good stuff man and yeah we'll see you on the next one till the next one cheers <laughs>
there you see the high definition. Look at the definition on that on that camera, on that yes. screen, because that's what counts. With the dynamic guidelines. Yeah, absolutely. Because you know some of them are a bit fuzzy still. This is, as you say, the high definition. Now, obviously the 500 cues are everywhere as well, right? The 500 family. So you've got all the little round dials and everything. It's all the round, yes. am I right? The yes. circles yes. is 500 and the, the story of 500 all along. So you've got that over there. You've got all those kind of functions, your aircon ventilation. What's nice, and I really am saying, at least there are proper knobs and controls. You don't have to go into the touch screen. Yes. I'm still of the school that I don't like having to fiddle in the touch screen to up the fan or the aircon or something old like school. that. <laughs> yeah, I'll call myself old school. I'm quite happy to. <laughs> You've got two USBs down here in front of the driver. That's nice as well. Yes, and then your 12 volt 12 volt at the well. bottom as well. Yeah, and a six speed auto, as we said, torque converter, electronic fan brake. parking brake. So you've got all these nice features. What else can you tell me we've got here that we haven't covered yet? Obviously with uh, Sport, you have the unique leather and Alcantara steering wheel with this little Alcantara uh, dashboard lid or cap okay. if you can say that and then obviously the the looks and feel of the actual sport is a little bit different from the sports uh, from the cross it is a bit more sporty look I would say obviously with the dark grey dashboard as well right but more than that it's a sport yeah of course I've got to now I've got you to say why is it not just you Every manufacturer nowadays, if they want to put the term sport on a car, there's got to be red stitching somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got it on the steering wheel. <laughs> so, <laughs> so for me, that has always been a thing from Fiat. Yeah. Fiat, where obviously a sport model, I don't know, it just looks So I'm much joking better. a little bit with you over there, I can't <laughs> help it, but I have commented quite a few times lately on this fact. I yeah. on it, I <laughs> <laughs> okay, last point. Yes. Warranty, relax. Five years, 100,000 kilometers warranty, and a three years, 60,000 kilometer service man. Okay, which covers you nicely, and that's included in the pricing. Yes. Quintus, another good launch, another good day out with you guys. Thanks so much. Thank you very much to you guys as well. For Motormaters, he's Quintus Schoenright, also from Fiat. <laughs> I'm Alan R. I'll see you next time.